guys, this is Heather at Homeschool Culture. In today's video, so I am starting out with a new series called Technology Thursday, and it's how you can use technology in your homeschool. So whether you're Charlotte Mason or you're classical, traditional, Waldorf, whatever it is, I promise you there is a place for technology since we do live in the 21st century. Of course, I do not think that technology should rule your homeschool. I am very much a proponent of using it so it benefits you but also acknowledging that sometimes it can hinder you or your child. But today I wanna to talk about those great YouTube channels that could definitely help you in your homeschool. So if that's something you're interested in, then stick around. Okay, so I have my notes here because I'm giving you a lot today. I'm giving you a lot. So you might wanna get a pen and paper. I have used these, but I have not necessarily seen every video. So there might be some videos on there that do not, not line up with your, let's say, um, uh, view of when the world started and of course with science and things like that and so just know that is that um, it's going to be ones that you obviously need to filter through yourself and, and make sure that it's appropriate for you and your family but I'm going to start with some broad YouTube channels so these are channels that are for educational purposes and it might hit math, history, ELA, which is your English language art, geography, pretty much think about your core subjects. And then they might even throw in some other stuff like foreign language or maybe a little art or whatever. So, okay, so here's some really good channels to go check out. Homeschool Pop, right? I love it. I love the name, Homeschool Pop. Free School, Learn Bright, Smile and Learn. Homeschool Pop, I really love the fact that they give some like beginner Spanish videos. Learn Bright actually brings in American Sign Language, which I think is awesome. So definitely check them out. I think that's so cool. Smile and Learn bring in some um, musical aspects that the others maybe don't, like on instruments and their musical uh, notations. So that if that's something that you're interested in learning or you want your kids to learn, like, I don't know anything about that, so I would definitely have to watch a video on that. Okay, so let's say you have an animal lover. There are some zoos out there that have one. The Houston Zoo has one, it has a channel where they go in and they'll talk about different habitats and animals. And so that's a fun one, especially for those animal lovers. Then we have kids that love art. If you're like me, you're a mother who knows nothing about art. So I definitely try to outsource that where I can. And I have been known to use YouTube often. So of course there is, I'm gonna get my list going on here because this is, a, I have a quite a few. Of course there is Art for Kids Hub. Well, I think we all know that. If you're new to homeschool, you might not. It's called Art for Kids Hub. And it's a dad and sometimes he has his kids involved as well. And um, he just goes in and does lots of different drawings, which are very easy for younger kids and moms who don't know how to draw. Um, draw. There is also one called Create Full Kids Art, which is a really neat one. I love drawing. Courtney Rock, check that out. It's a smaller channel, but it's really good. Um, art with Maddie and Dada. And then some that like, if you're maybe you're um, into art history, there is Larry Sanger has a really good channel, Larry Sanger. And then the Museum of Modern Art. Always go to like things like art museums, websites, and see if they have any videos that maybe will link you over to the YouTube video. And then you can check out channels that way as well. Nature journaling. So if you're in, if you're into nature studies and nature journaling, then this will help you out. So nature study. So let's say you want information on different aspects of nature. Net Geo Kids is an excellent YouTube channel for that. But if you're actually wanting to do the journaling and you're like, I don't even know where to start. And some of those nature journaling books can be pretty expensive. Well, a lot of those books that are expensive, they're great books, but that are expensive, the, the author has a channel. John Muir Laws is his name. So John M-U-I-R Laws. And um, he does, and he'll go in and he'll talk about, um, he, I mean, he's an, an excellent, I love his channels. And he'll go in and he'll talk about like what to look for whenever you do start nature journaling, um, whenever you're drawing a bird, you know, how to set it up. It's very detailed. And I think, I mean, he is one of the best. His books are definitely worth the money, but, but seeing it visually with him talking it out is awesome. So that is one of my favorites. And then um, Alex Boone Art is another one. I'm gonna maybe butcher this next one, but in our homeschool, we like to listen to classical music. Not always, sometimes we like, right now we're doing Latin music because we're in South America. And so we listen to Latin music to go along with the country we're studying. But whenever we're going over classical musicians and composers, I like to utilize YouTube. So what do I use? I use classical, it's H-A-L-I-D-O-N. So Halidon, I think. Um, music and it has fabulous um, playlist for 
Mozart, Bach, you know, all of them. Anything you, any, any classical composer you can think of, they will have a wonderful playlist for it. So what about science? Operation Ouch is one of my favorite. It's mostly just the human body. So if you're going over the human body, look up Operation Ouch. Um, there's another one called Science Show Kids. NASA Videos has obviously one on space science. And then there's a channel called KLT and it has a lot of earth science videos. So there's tons and tons of obviously other ones as well. Um, did I mention, yeah, I think I already mentioned uh, free school. Okay, yeah, because free school has a bunch of science as well. Okay, so some history. So if you want a channel dedicated specifically to history, there's horrible histories. And if you don't know anything about that, there's books called horrible histories and it's a, it's a series of books that kind of goes it kind of just gets some of those kids that maybe aren't really into history, it kind of gets them engaged with it because it talks about the bad, the gory, all of that. And so there is a channel as well. I would say for your younger kids, Liberty Kids, um, it's Liberty Kids Dash Wild Brain. They have 47 videos over US history. Now I own the DVD collection and my 14 year old the other day was like, can we watch Liberty Kids? They love it. And they know so much US history purely from Liberty Kids. So check it out it's definitely a good one and then bedtime history that's a good one math um i'm gonna do math middle and up a lot of those other ones that i said are kind of broad um like the homeschool pop learn bright smile and learn free school they're gonna have a lot of younger kid um geared math okay so so this next group is gonna be for a little bit older maybe middle school and up e how education and it's not just math but science so E and then how education, uh, math is simple and math with Mr. J. And then there's a ton of other ones. Like Khan Academy has some, um, some videos, like there's tons and tons and tons and tons, obviously, right? It's YouTube, you know all that. But these are ones that I really like and these are ones that I think will benefit you. Now, I know because there's so much out there, I have missed some. So go ahead and put those down below, anything that I missed. If there's something for those younger kiddos, I know I kind of didn't go real into detail for those younger kids. If there's something on there like ABC Mouse, I know that's one, um, put those down below as well. On that note, I hope you have a super blessed day and a blessed week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.